what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful if you're new to this channel smash the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together so guys today i'm in cf moto as you can probably see from the background and i'm here to show you the 800 nk it's a quick walk around video of the 800 nk especially for those who haven't seen it before so let's go up close and take a look stick around so we're going to start with the nk from the front once you take a look at this NK, you can see a difference in quality between the 800 and the other uh, CCs. And it's not as if those ones are of low quality, but it just feels like a lot more work has been put in this one in terms of colors, material, and all that. So let's take a look. Starting from the front here, it's got this wing, bird wing style, sort of tiny uh, windscreen. I believe it's not even a windscreen, it's just a design language. So you have NK. CF motor NK up there and you have some nice grill sort of design here and down here you got your headlamp with daytime running lights here and, and down here as well and down here in the middle is where you have your headlamps all LED so that's really really nice very bold design you won't see where you won't be able to tell from afar where the headlamps are until it's turned on it's not very obvious and if it look look down here you have this really nice uh, mud guard that has been put here it's very flimsy but i'm pretty sure it's to reduce the weight and it's going to do the job as well so and you got your turn signals put down here instead of up there but yeah they are um, protruding out here but the handlebars go way out and so it's going to be protected in case the bike trips over so that's for the front. Let's look on the side. From the side, you can see the coloring of the front wheel, front and rear wheels are kind of similar to what other brands are doing, giving it some sort of a different color. And sort of like, I don't know if I should call it green or yellowish, green or copper sort of color. And you have a double disc in front, very wide discs with, of course, ABS on the other side can see right there ABS and it comes with J Juan brake calipers twin brake calipers on the front on one side so on both sides that's four J Juan, J Juan is a subsidiary of Brembo originally a Spanish brand I don't know if it's owned by Chinese now but yeah that's what I know about it and here you have interestingly a stabilizer right here installed from factory so it's gonna keep your front end stable at high speeds, something that is needed. And for a naked bike, it's, it has quite a long suspension travel, relatively longer than most other bikes, and it has a really solid upside down fork as well, so that's really, really nice. If we move on to the side, we have very nice uh, kind of carbon fiber effect here with CF Moto plastered there and you have your horn on this side you have it's a twin so you have the double exhaust coming from the engine and very nice looking engine block now if we look down here there is a there is some sort of a I'm not sure if it's for updates or just just for regular charging not so easy to open so maybe it's not for regular charging but it's sort of a power sharing sort of um, symbol on there so maybe you can connect your phone or something to the TFT and then on the side we have the engine block looking very beefy and kudos to CF Moto the quality of the bolts and nuts that have been used are just like that on premium bikes like BMWs and Yamahas feels really really solid and I believe Motorex oil is recommended maybe they have a collaboration with Motorex and down here you have some really nice pipes coming from the engine and you have this here which is going to produce all the sound very thick in there and the eventual fumes are going to come out of these twin outlets so looking really really nice and i like how they have hidden the brake fluid reservoir in there to protect it 
and it's not going to be too difficult to to service it so you just undo this screw here and you can take this plastic off and deal with it so nicely tucked away and you have this brake pedal here which is adjustable because there's space here in front and in the back so you can move it forward and back depending on what you want feeling very solid with some very thick metal holding it all together and you have your rubberized grip which is really nice and you have very tactile foot pegs for the rear rider rear uh, passenger as well and now down here you have a very thick swing arm coming all the way I like the design of it kind of flat and it opens up here for adjustment of your chain so that's really nice and you have Jejuan Jehuan brick caliper down here you have your ABS of course with a nice disc and overall it looks really really full really satisfied and rather than placing the number mounting system below the headlamps uh, the rear brake they've actually connected it to so there's this plastic covering here but in there if you look it's two twin metal pipes coming all the way so it's not just slapped on some plastic it's real solid metal just covered with this plastic and that's going to accommodate the rear turn signals the mounting area for your number plates and number light and if you look on the back you have CF 800-7 and very interesting design of the rear brake lights and uh, all the other running lights as well so that's really really cool and I like how this part is fully covered with plastics with no opening so no matter how fast you're riding in bad weather you're just gonna have it all being blocked here by the by these plastics so that's really really nice let's see what tire size is being run in the rear so this is running these tires are made in Taiwan it's not very obvious and on this side you have on the rear you have very nice looking um, very nice looking rims I like these rims because of, of the color it's not going to dirt is not going to be obvious and it's going to be quite easy to just wash it with sort of a wheel brush and it's going to look spanking clean again you have some really thick chain really really nice and the swing arm here is not very different from that on the other side and you have some nice sturdy plastic for the uh, chain as a chain cover and it's a whole unit that also doubles as a mud guard for the bike to prevent mud from hitting the suspension the rear suspension which is nicely exposed really really nice setup I'm liking it and you can see the metal frame coming all the way which has the same color interestingly as that of the wheel so it gives it some uniformity and I like that this key inlet for opening the seat is blacked out as well so it kind of blends in nicely with with the bike and you have your rear passenger uh, foot peg there and you have the chain protecting they have all these protections for the rider so when the chain snaps the rider is still going to be quite safe and you have your left side foot peg with a nice very solid feeling and you have a very solid feeling gear lever right here and overall the engine design looks very clean and very well built and they have the left side just like that on the right side as well allowing lots of wind to come from here to the back of the bike so that's really really nice now let's take a, a look at the top of the bike so you have the pillion seat which is kind of hard so I believe that you're not intending for a pillion to ride on this bike for longer journeys but the rider's bike seat itself is very very nice very comfortable very solid feels firm but soft as well 
and it has all these not perforations but kind of like stamped design in there you get your nk here actually um it's not it, it's not a sticker it's actually sewn into the material i just hope water is not going to seep in there seep in there when it rains but it looks really really nice and that's the design of the tank so the tank itself will be underneath i believe because this is plastic on the top and you have blacked out lid for the uh, fuel as for the fuel cap and you have very nice design for the wind the rear view mirrors these are metal and i like the design of it it's going to look and see quite wide behind you and you got your ignition button right here and the tft screen is similar to what is on the mt 400 mt and other new designs of cf motorcycles sitting on this bike yeah it feels good this is a kind of bike that i would like it's a naked bike although i like adventure bikes it sits quite high and the handlebars are wide so it's not like one of those tiny low seating uh road bikes naked bikes but yeah you have your clutch lever here it's not as soft as that on honda bikes but <clears throat> yeah it's accept it's acceptable and here you have your interestingly designed horn button you have your turn signal button it's not very tactile but it has great travel so you can have a feel in your hands when what you're doing and you have your navigation buttons here for navigating left right you have your dedicated mode button here and you got cruise control so you push out to set your cruise control and you push back in to turn it off so that's really really nice and you have as usual your button for flash to pass high beam low beam and on the right side of course you have your brake front brake reservoir you have your front brakes feeling really really solid everything kind of blacked out feels solid you have your rather than putting it here the hazard light button here like on some of the bikes you have it up here which is also quite convenient so you can just easily press it when you need it and you have your start stop button just like on all cf motorbikes and the tft screen like i mentioned is just very similar to that on the cf moto mt i'll try to leave 400 450 mt is very similar to that on the 450 mt i'll link it up there for those who haven't seen my walk around video of that motorcycle so yeah overall the 800 nk with the 800 cc or 799 cc engine it's going to be really zippy on the road and i kind of like it i hope you like it too if you haven't seen it up close this is the video for you so yeah that's the cf moto nk 800 i almost missed this so it comes with a kind of like a c-shaped radiator in there it's quite wide as well so it's going to give it a lot of cooling power for the engine all right guys so that's it for this video that was the 800 nk from cf motor thank you so much for watching i hope you really like this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to support this channel by subscribing to the channel so we can grow together once again thank you so much for watching until i see you in the next video guys always ride legal ride safe peace and i'm out